Good afternoon to all of you. Um, well, a post-lunch session after a speech on welding, uh, that's going to be tough. Uh, speaking about why engineers need to learn humanities in a conference mostly on engineering education is indeed a challenge. But I thought um, it's a good opportunity for us to reflect about the importance of humanities. So let me begin by saying that uh, the case for uh, humanities is not to in any way displace uh, the importance of STEM studies, including engineering, uh, but it is really to recognize the fact that uh, while we focus on specialized study of engineering as well as other disciplines in the broader scheme of uh, things, particularly in STEM disciplines, there is an urgent need for recognizing how humanities and social sciences, broadly liberal arts studies, uh, need to have a very strong presence in the engineering curriculum. So the first uh, and the most important reason why we need to do that is uh, we need to recognize the importance of interdisciplinarity in the higher education sector. Uh, in fact, one of the remarkable things about uh, a good holistic education that one can get, particularly at the undergraduate level, is that the opportunity to study a range of subjects and courses which ultimately will uh, benefit even for whatever specialization one does. In fact, uh, if you look at the specialized institutions today, including IITs, for example, it took some time, but IITs have begun to set up uh, serious departments of humanities and social sciences and recognizing the fact that engineers need to have a strong grounding in humanities. Uh, there are numerous studies around the world, US in particular, where distinguished uh, engineers and uh, people who have sort of excelled in the field of uh, engineering have had their sort of uh, foundational knowledge and understanding in the, uh, particularly in the undergraduate education with a strong focus on humanity. So in the first case for uh, studying humanities for engineering students is that it is important for higher education to have a more interdisciplinary approach towards learning. A more specialized idea for this is also about the fact that just imagine engineering as a discipline uh, should be able to tell you about uh, you know how you can with precision and certainty certainty you can you know establish create products uh, create uh, manufacturing and other, other types of solutions uh, engaged in uh, building things for example uh, whether it is civil or mechanical engineering uh, the 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 thing about humanities is it in many ways helps you to recognize uncertainties and the need for counting on uncertainties even when you are looking for certainty. In fact, the vision of humanity studies in general is to recognize the importance of uncertainties uh, in relation to uh, one's educational process and educational development. The second thing which I think is even more critical is the fact that uh, many aspects of knowledge grows through an interdisciplinary approach. So for example, uh, let's say the study of psychology. Uh, if you are an engineer and you have had the opportunity to study psychology and understand organizational growth and development and behavior, you are better positioned even to perform your job as an engineer. Uh, the idea of engineering or for that matter any STEM discipline being studied in an isolated manner without reference to humanities will actually diminish the knowledge imagination of anybody who is pursuing that. The second related dimension is that, um, you know, there are numerous areas of uh, knowledge uh, which includes literature, um, of course, uh, the entire gamut of uh, uh, study of history, philosophy, as well as uh, psychology and other disciplines, all of which are critical for the preservation of our human civilization. Indeed, our collective uh, human humanities culture. Uh, just imagine if these disciplines uh, do not receive the kind of attention they need to and they become uh, renegated to people who probably did not end up becoming engineers, how much we would have lost of our collective uh, understanding of humanity. So in some ways, even to preserve our civilizational heritage, it's important for humanities to be deeply embedded and infused into our educational dimension. Uh, in fact, uh, I want to quickly 
uh, read uh, something which uh, many years ago Steve Jobs had mentioned. Uh, and uh, as you know, uh, Steve Jobs is uh, somebody who has uh, very strongly and very deeply believed in the idea of liberal arts studies. He famously mentioned that uh, uh, one of the best things that he studied in a college was calligraphy. And calligraphy uh, led to the sort of early development of the Apple's uh, fonts. And uh, he said, and I quote, um, it's in Apple's DNA that technology alone is not enough. It's technology married with liberal arts, married with the humanities, that yields us the result that makes our hearts sing. And nowhere is that more true than in these post-PC devices, unquote. I mentioned Steve Jobs and his thinking because of the fact that many, many engineers uh, over the years have recognized the importance of design thinking and with artificial intelligence and robotics and machine learning uh, in almost uh, sort of taking over our lives, we, it is time for us to recognize the importance of humanities. It is time for recognizing to what extent we can et infuse ethics, uh, issues surrounding privacy, and the whole gamut of to what extent we need to make choices as human beings, how much we will allow machines to govern our lives. Uh, as it was said, uh, you know, a good engineer should be in a position to determine whether we want to have a, a nuclear a missile. But the study of humanities, understanding of humanities, will probably help you to decide whether you really want to build a missile in the first place. Those choices that we end up making in our own societies today in a complex world that we are living will significantly be enhanced if we have a better sense of the kind of society we are and the kind of future that we want to build. Lastly, I want to say that the study of humanities is not something which one should be seen as an addition to what one does uh, in engineering. Uh, people end up thinking as if that these are the core courses that one has to study and the sort of humanities are sort of uh, ancillary. In fact, this has affected the ability of very bright students to actually come into engineering uh, for a very... And India has seen that, and many developed countries are, are increasingly seeing it. So some of the best and the brightest of our students are who were, let's say, a decade ago, uh, were coming into our STEM disciplines, are no longer coming into STEM disciplines because we have not made those disciplines attractive enough to have a more broad-based education. In that sense, I am arguing that why not give the opportunity for a student who wants to, let's say, study mechanical engineering or computer engineering, along with that study, he or she may be allowed to learn a bit of history, learn a bit of sociology, learn a bit of uh, uh, psychology. This, these things, when it becomes part of the curriculum and the course structure and the pedagogy of teaching and learning within uh, classrooms, the learning outcomes that are going to be generated for engineering studies will be vastly superior than what we have today. So I want to end by saying that the study of humanities is so critical at a time when some of the most fundamental values that we believe, be it democracy, rule of law, as well as pluralism in a country like India, are indeed being challenged, not just in India, but also around the world. So in this context of these values being challenged, there is no better case for the study of humanities for all disciplines, including engineering, than now. With that, I want to thank uh, Business World for giving me this opportunity. I, I know that the program has been delayed for an hour, and, and I need to leave, but I just want to mention that it's a pleasure for me to uh, reflect about the issue of and the importance of humanities education within the study of engineering. Thank you.